This man's job is to keep an eye out for people who are covering their faces. It's a new task for the police officer in the Canton Ticino town of Lugano, since the Canton's burka ban came into force on July the 1st. With my female colleague, I check people's identity. We show them a pamphlet containing all the information about the new law. The leaflet is written in English and Arabic and is also handed out to hotel guests. In this case, Bailed women are no longer allowed to enter hotels, unfortunately. This is a difficult situation. Either guests can adjust to this new law, or they will have to find a hotel in another canton. The new law puts hotels in a tricky position. Guests from Arab countries are very welcome in the canton. On average, they spend more money than tourists from other parts of the world. Over the past few years, as European visitors have become scarcer, Ticino has increasingly targeted Arab countries, and the efforts have paid off. Arabs are spending more and more nights in Ticino hotels. So will the burqa ban have a negative impact? Unfortunately, we have had some cancellations in the luxury sector, some Arab families who were regular visitors to Ticino. Lugano is hoping that Arab tourists will continue to come in the future. The city wants to give its tourism staff extra training on how to treat Arab guests correctly. We're working with an intercultural mediator to train our police staff. Our people have to become aware of how to encounter visitors from Arab countries in order to avoid any negative encounters.